vertigo then. I said, well, you see, vertigo is interesting. I said, because in a way, when I first saw it, my friends, we again came in the middle, didn't matter, you know, watched the whole film. We thought it was good. We didn't know why. We didn't, we didn't say, gee, this is better than uh, uh, Man Who Knew Too Much. We didn't put it in that category. It was just another Hitchcock film. But there was something special about it. And over the years, we kept watching it again and again. And I think it has to do with the character. I think it has to do with the obsession of the character. And it's something that you don't, it doesn't matter. The story doesn't matter at all. You will watch that film repeatedly and repeatedly because of the, the way he takes you through his obsession and the kind of man he is in that film. Um, uh, therefore, it's a picture, I think, that of Hitchcock's that is one of his greatest, if not, if not his best, because you can keep watching it and watching it. And it's always new mm -hmm. because you go through that journey with him in his own soul.